Hey everybody, this is MarkFoon520 here on the SylphWinds YouTube channel. Welcome to session 16 of Rebuilding Dinnerum. Don't worry, we're still near the end. Just, we have a little bit more to go until we reach endgame. So, speaking of that, this week's warm-up question is more or less an update on... Uh, what session did we do the journal entry on? Sheesh. I don't remember. <laughs> one with the checkmates, I think. Yeah. It like was... that narrows it down. <laughs> the Red Cliff yeah. checkmates. Yeah, the Red yeah, Cliff one. Like, yes. Right at red. It was when we went on, on the raid to the Red yep, Cliff. That uh, one. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we had. Yeah. I will link it in the description. Keep it in yeah. manual with us. Yeah. Yeah. So, with that, um, we're going to see if we can get an update on our characters journal entry wise so time to think creatively gang Ooh. so with that being said who would like to go first i can if no one else is ready to jump in all right go ahead so yeah things and stuff i'm home again that's great i've missed everyone it's Sad I'll be going again so soon. I'm. Gods, where do I even start? I'm seeing someone. Not someone I ever would have thought I would have fallen in love with, but. <laughs> Life, I guess. <sighs> Life, yeah. I'm actually friends with that redheaded Templar girl. Apparently that wasn't really a stick. She's a bit guarded, but she's nice. We're friends, which is a weird thought to have, considering how much of my life I was told Templar's bad. And her and Lyra aren't bad. Lyra, I've actually got a weird sense of affection for, even though she's so not about the magic, and I kind of am, for as little as I use it. Drods still our voice of skepticism and slash reason, usually reason. And that's always good. I am all over the place with this, aren't I? Yeah. I think here it's right, I do have problems focusing. Hmm. Yeah, lots happened. Apparently I'm going to be sane. I don't know how I feel about that. Because if I don't answer the gold's will, bad things tend to happen. And I don't want bad things to happen to Eagle Reach. These are my people. I would die for them. Dot dot dot. Die. Yeah, more people are bringing up the whole you're gonna die thing. I'm not okay with that. Really not okay. I, mean, I just got the guy. Come on, it's not fair. <laughs> I... You know, life. I'm not gonna go throwing myself on my sword anytime soon. And you know, I have to birth Roland and all that. Who came up with the name Roland? Myself or Daniels? It's not really an Avar sounding name if you think about it. it. Must be Daniels influence. When in doubt, I'm gonna blame Kendra. Clearly it's her fault. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, you'll be surprised! <laughs> <laughs> well, we did the trial thing. Lyra's in one piece. We got her back, and she's got a teddy bear helmet. Kind of cool. We're going to learn stuff. I'm actually surprisingly on good terms with Silda, which for me is a first. Usually, my axes I tend to send to the void and back, or else they send me to the void and back. So that's good. Progress, right? Maturing. All that good stuff. Okay, I am babbling endlessly now. This was supposed to help me organize my thoughts. I just feel they're more scattered. Oh, I'm teaching Clever to drop bombs. I don't know if it's ever going to work. He sometimes gets it right, sometimes just flies around and brings it back and drops it at my feet. I don't know if he thinks we're playing fetch or something. We'll figure this out. He's very much going to love to his name. Yes. All right. Well, that's a very long entry. That's that's creative. 
Alrighty, so, who would like to go next? Um, I can go. Alright, go ahead, Sage Fox. So, I don't even know where to begin. Um, I recently did this Avar trial thing. It was nicer than I thought it would be. You know, I never really considered anything supernatural. Like, I knew spirits exist, but they seem to be more knowing than I would have imagined. And I'm not sure what to quite think of that. And then I got a... Then Roland. I don't even... I like him. It's odd that he's from the future and all, and I know it's going to probably not end that good, but I'm happy for today, and I'll keep going with that. And now it's time to do some finishing up stuff. Someday I might go back to the Templar Order, and hopefully that all plays out well. <laughs> and yeah, I'll just do this one step at a time like normal. <laughs> the end. <laughs> Okay, good. Well done. Well done. All right. So, alrighty, gentlemen, what do you what do you got? So, who would like to go next? I I can go. All right, go ahead, Evan. Well, this has certainly turned out to be an interesting few weeks. Apparently, we've got these keys to some ancient Avar legendary location or. Whatever the heck Bellinus actually is. I have to say I'm a little bit worried as to what the implications are of us thinking about going there, but I guess we have to sort of take things one day at a time. It seems like it's probably what we're supposed to be doing for some sense of supposed to. Um, and you know, I, I have trust in the companions and we've got Rovas, who's back home and learning more about her tribe, and we went through the whole Avar ritual training or testing thing, uh, which was sort of an experience. Um, Lyra and Kendra, they've been there by our sides, as have all of our other companions, like Daniel, Roland, Sildar. Everyone's been here for each other, so whatever happens when we get to Bellinus, I'm sure we'll all be able to handle whatever it is. I'm just a little bit worried about what that whatever it is turns out to be. I'm done. Okay. Well done. Come back. Alrighty. Joseph, we've been uh, waiting for you, so... Uh... What uh, what does Pender write down on uh, her journal? <laughs> so much has happened over the past few weeks. It's an amazing amount, and I don't really know what to say. I have my sister back. That's I have my whole family back. I have new family. I have a nephew. <sighs> Wow, this is weird. <laughs> <laughs> that is so weird. Time travel is weird. I still don't understand how that it works. Even after like three conversations with Roland. Sometimes I think he not even he understands how time travel works. And I don't know what's gonna happen. And that worries me because I think I'm going to lose a family member just as soon as I got them. Oh. Also, apparently it he and Ly uh, Lyra had something going on and it, that just weirds me out. Yeah. <laughs> that age of difference is going to be weird. Yeah. And very concerning. I'm, well, I, well, we're, we're in Rova, we're in Eagle Reach now, with Rovas' people, we, we just got done with a trial for Lyra, and I'm so glad she made it out back, we all have the, our keys now, and 
Now we need to go and, and go and deal with this prophecy. Well, at least we're stopping in Redcliffe first. Maybe we can uh, we'll, and seeing Ethan. And we'll all be together. I, I'm worried about how this will end. But I made a promise that I'll protect everyone. And I see through my promises. Very lovely. Well done. Aww. Aww. Now I feel bad. <laughs> oh, that's never good for you for a team to say. <laughs> Yeah, I just feel bad. <laughs> I don't know why, but anyway. So um, now to take my part. Um, so out of all the NPCs, the companions that we we have now, um, who would you like to hear? I want to hear my, my birds. Probably... <laughs> oh, my vote would probably be Roland. Um, Roland, okay. One for clever, one for low. Roland. It's so, called cheating. Like, no. <laughs> uh, okay. Honestly, <laughs> I I I kind of want to do it for like uh, someone we haven't heard from too much. Like, I think I want to hear from Cole. I can Cole. see Cole, given what was set up last yeah. time. All right, so we have two votes for Cole. So that means Cole is going to be um, the one who I'll be uh, ringing out of. Which technically I'm going to be improving. So, Cole will sit down and he, during his meditations, and he's going to write down on his journal. Well, what has happened over the past few weeks? I decided to finally quit being a checkmate because of how corrupt they are becoming. I finally got to meet Lyra. Finally. I haven't seen her ever since she was a baby, and when she she left with her mother due to her being a mage and all. But it is good that I'm able to see her, a grown up. She's doing well, apparently. And some interesting friends as well. One that I'm worried about is the Abel, Bilos. Yes, she is half-elf, but she can hold herself, as well as with her bird, who apparently can learn how to drop bombs, which I'm worried about. <laughs> Kendra, her best friend, apparently. Um, I feel like that she's worried that I might stab him in the back. I can't say that there are any promises, but at least I'm not mocked by the Queen, which is good. The only thing I need to do now is gain her trust and know that she has an ally outside the checkmates. And knowing that check not all checkmates are bad. Then of course with Gerard Payne. I know about the company name, about Payne's practical products and everything. But with him, I see a man who is cunning and very wise of knowing which is safe to buy or not, which is good. We need more people like that. But everyone else, they seem like they don't trust me because of me being a checkmate. Guess I should prove them wrong. And then he finishes the journal entry. That's basically what uh, Cole has wrote down. Hmm. All right, so let's recap what happened. So, as the journal entries have said, um, Lyra has finally passed her test, and now she is wielding the Helmet of Sickfrost, which, of course, in Avar nature, means that she has some knowledge, which is good. Anyway. So we're going to pick up from where we left off. So currently, everyone is still in Eagle's Reach. Majority of them are having breakfast, but for Kendra, in her case, um, she has found 
another fellow checkmate who's who's saying, where are they? Where are they? Where are those keys? What are you going to do? I want to start stealthing. All right. Roll for stealth. 15. We're free okay. stunt. 15 free stunt. All right. All right. While I'm doing that, I'm going to do a, a little private roll. Okay. <laughs> There's something right. called advantage. It, it just put positioning. You make your discovery okay. from an advantage position of your choice. That position, however, can't be more than two yards away from the place that would normally lead to your discovery. Okay. Well, good thing though, because the roll that I made, um, he failed. So, so he doesn't see anything. He's just. From what you could see, Kendra, is that he is searching through all of your bags, trying to find the keys. Mm. Or at least that's what you assume. I'm gonna... Remember back early on in, in the RP, when I did some... Like, knockdowns of some other people? Uh, yes, like I those, remember. Let me, well, I'm just gonna knock this guy out. All right, so I want you to try and roll for strength, and I'm going to make an opposed um, strength check. 13 with two stunts. 10 with one stunt, so that's a fail. So you t kind of one punch him, just <laughs> knock them out. And he, he gives out like the sound of <laughs> <laughs> And he's now on the floor, unconscious. I search over him real quick. Alright, go ahead and roll for a perception search, or spot. Let's see, uh, perception seeing? Um, no, I'm just gonna say spot. If mm. you have a focus on that. If not, just roll for a regular Nine. perception. Nine. Uh, nothing of interest. Hmm. Well... I look around to see if he. Uh, I look around for any signs that he came alone or with someone else. Um, you look around. No one's in the house. Apparently, it's just him. Hmm. I look okay, outside. Now... Nearby. Um, you look around. Okay, this is gonna be a tough one. So, go ahead and roll for perception. Scene. Thirteen. Thirteen. Um. You don't see of anything of interest, you just see mainly Avar just um, doing what they're normally doing, like building things, creating fires, even praying to the gods, to their I gods. I call one of the Avar over. Okay, so you call one of them. Alright, um, how do you, how do you call them over? Hey, can I, I called the one in particular, hey, uh, can I see you for a second? All right, you get one of the Avar over. Um, he's um, he's actually kind of a little bit younger, like um, like around a teenage uh, age, and he kind of goes up to you and goes, uh, "You must be one of the landlanders. Uh, how may I help you?" Uh, can you go get some uh, some of my friends from the uh, it was the cafeteria, right out here? Yeah, communal dining hall. Yeah. It, the, from the dining, dining hall. hall? Dining hall, real quick. I need to see uh, them. Very well. Uh, what re for what reason? Well, I just caught this intruder. He looks behind you and he goes, "I see. Thank you for informing. I'll go fetch them for you." Thank you. And he heads off to the communal dining hall. Now, as for everyone else, they're still. Um, you guys are still eating uh, some food. The food is actually pretty good, even though it looks kind of gross. But uh, this same man that Kendra talked in came in, and uh, he goes up to Rovas, and he goes, um, "Excuse me, uh, do you have a moment to talk?" Sure, go ahead. Um, and then he looks at the uh, others, and this goes all to the rest of you. But uh, your friend, uh, in named Kendra, he she wants to see you because apparently she's found an intruder. What? Drops fork out of her hand. 
Yeah, and he just goes, well, follow me, just be calm. And calm, right. Calm. Clev, is he still flying around hopped up on spider <laughs> Um, <laughs> I think he's died down and now he's on, on top of your head. Alright, on my shoulder, let's go. He's on your shoulder, and I'm going to assume everyone is getting up and leaving. Very quickly. Yep. Alright, quickly and calmly, got it. So everyone has entered into, uh, head, uh, headed off to where uh, Kendra is at. You see Kendra, and she looks a little worried. Mm -hmm. Actually, I look more bored than anything. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, bored and worried. Let's just say that. Mm -hmm. Enters. Really, Kendra, uh, when they say you have boys at your feet, that's not what they mean. <laughs> <laughs> Although, Ava, if you wanted to propose to him, this would be the first step in kidnapping. <laughs> Realizes what? what she just said, glances at Daniel, like, how did he take that? <laughs> I I just have this in, in, incredulous look on my face. <laughs> yeah, Daniel will just go, gives him gives off a look of, I do not know what you're talking about. Oh good, he's not freaking out. Back to subject to <laughs> hand. Look, I caught, I caught the, this chick mate uh, looking for our stuff. He was yeah. trying to find the keys. Oh, we should Did he get me. anything? Yes, I saw the mark. Okay. Interrogation time then? Interrogation... Well, what do... What would he know that we don't know already? Mm, well, last time we had a checkmate I could play with, I was able to access the Queen. Right now, we are in my hold, we have an Olga, and plenty of powerful mages. True. I'm curious what a round two would go like Amog with that. <laughs> yeah. Hmm. Okay. Indeed. indeed. <laughs> Alright. So, uh, everyone is going to to round up this unconscious guy and send him to Yager? Can I can I just do a check out of character that um I'm guessing that Gerard would have had his key on the chain around his neck and so there would be no chance of Yes, I will also check that now. Yeah, yeah, just a quick pet, quick pad the way you like, okay, like I still have my wallet. Okay. Yes. Alright, yeah, go ahead. Do like a do do something of like a regular check. It could be of like uh, let's just go for perception. I got a 12. I got a 17. 17 also. So well, I checked for my mine. Well, um, yeah. <laughs> yeah, go ahead. Nine. Okay. Blast. <laughs> Blast it. Blast it indeed. Okay, so for Gerard and Lyra, you pat yourself and you realize, yes, the key. you still have your keys. For Robos, you're... They're patting everywhere, just trying to check, and then all of a sudden, later on, uh, you just check your pocket. <laughs> there it is! How did you Poor get Kendra. off my neck? Bad necklace. What's back on? <laughs> and for Kendra, yours took a while because you're still half asleep. But you do realize that you still have your key around your neck. Oh. Hey. And before we leave, I'd like to do a perception check on the checkmate to remove any weapons he has. Alright, go ahead and make a spot. Twelve. Clever, Twelve. please do better. <laughs> Thank you, my bird. Seventeen. Okay, so for Robots, you do check. Um, you will cast some fancy armor. Not very Avar-like, but it is very fancy for no, Lowlander armor. That gets <laughs> stripped off. <laughs> Okay, and for Clever, um, he has found uh, two daggers that he has, um, and a crossbow. And now he has it. Yep. Does anyone have go. a rope? I don't think I do anymore. Because that's something I've been have meaning to buy. Let me see. I have rope. I have rope. I have rope. Uh -huh. I have rope. Cool. Yeah, yeah. I have. Yeah, I have rope. Over. All right. So, as you're tying it, um, try and you try and tie it, uh, but um, it's. I'll just do a little 
roll here real quick. Okay. Um, so go ahead. So anyone near the body where Robos is tying it, uh, go ahead and make a perception check. Um, let's see. Uh, Lyra, you realize that Robos is tying it a little bit loose. Make that knot a little tighter, I think. Right, on it. All right, you got it tighter. Um, I want you to try. Uh, let's have Robos roll a bit of a a strength check. No, no focuses or anything. Just a plain strength. Eleven. Okay. Um, it's nice and tight for what you believe. All right. So you guys got the the, the uh, checkmate all checked up. And everyone is heading off to the auger. Now the auger is currently in the middle of making up some potions. And he looks back and goes, Ah, Rovas, welcome back. Is there something that you... Who's he? An intruder. One I think we should I... show us some hold hospitality to. Him I, caught him, yes. I caught him looking for our stuff. Looking for the keys. Oh, dear. Um, ha have you informed the Thane? Not yet. We've literally just come from some doing. <sighs> I can send Are Clever you? with a message. Please do, and make it fast. Okay. I'm assuming he has paper or something she can write real quick a message with. Yeah, he gives you a paper. Scribbles out message. Caught intruder. Now with auger. R. R. Gives it to Clever. Clever flies off. Yep, he flies off, heads off to the thing. And as this is going on, um, uh, the auger has, uh, you guys give him, give the, the, the unconscious checkmate to the auger, and he, and he'll check him and goes, all right, yes, he's been knocked. Um, what do you want me to do with him? This isn't the first time we've caught one of the checkmates. One of the times I was able to use their mark and gain access to their queen. And you want to do it again? Yes, but I want a little bit more magical backing behind me. Is that possible? I'll be the first person to make magical studies. Not my strong suit. Despite your okay. best efforts. <laughs> or I should say command's best efforts. <laughs> I mean, you think me in command would get would have gotten on a lot better. <laughs> Just was Understandable. Really Understandable. But I think I can. But just so you know, Robos, that was a... What What do you lowlanders say? Ballsy? Ballsy move? That, that you did? Because <laughs> that was incredibly dangerous for what you did. If oh, the queen... At the time, I didn't know what I was doing. It's more, ooh, Mark, I'll interact with it. Hello, lady, that looks mad at me. <laughs> yes, but if... If she were to catch you, you know what would happen. You might end up under her control as well. <laughs> Let it try. Command couldn't take me. All right. Now, at this point, uh, that's when the Thane comes in, um, and he says, "So we have an intruder." Yep. Kicks him with her foot. Yeah. yeah. And you do see that Clever is on his shoulder, and just very looks very proud. Good boy. And then he hops onto your shoulder, Robas. And then he goes, all right. And according to the letter, you said that you found him snooping inside your bags. So, Olga, I think you know what to do. Now the Olga grabs his staff, plants it on the floor once, and this same glow happens just like how it was in, during the test. And all of a sudden, it's not to get too much sci-fi. It's like if anyone has watched Star Wars, it's like like that hologram thing. But it's like an astral projection, more or less. And you see this woman who looks somewhere in her in her. She's a human, obviously. Um, she is around in her early to mid forties, and she looks. Furious, <laughs> and she says, "You have something that I need." About a personality, sure. <laughs> and 
this is where you hear Daniel just <clears throat> And she points at you, Robos. And she says, you. I know you. Okay, you this is there. the one I met before. Yes, this is the same one you met. And he goes, you were there when I tried to kill Knight Commander Christian. Yeah, I'm a little ticked you thwarted me. Oh, you should be. Soon enough, I will find the four of you. Good and I will that. take what... Yeah, and you see her just go... Ugh! <laughs> and the projection just vanishes. Oh, I wasn't unfading her. <laughs> Some and... bears need to be poked, all I'm saying. <sighs> Indeed, the Arca said. But I did able to pinpoint where she was. Really? Good job. She's getting closer. The auger says. Oh dear. And he goes, I think the four of you need to go now. The thing says. Where is she? How far away? Auger will say, not far. She and her men are near the frostbacks. Alright, put the hold under guard. Stops, realizes she's kind of doing the Thane's job, looks over sheepishly, like, sorry. Good point, Rivas. And then. Uh, I need to speak with you before we go, real quick. Good idea. Take your time. But I must warn you that you need to leave quickly. Yes. I don't know sorry. when the. I don't know when the Queen is gonna come, but we need to prepare. I'll tell some of our men to guard the gate. And never let anyone inside. And then the thing leaves. I need to go track down your head. Um, if everyone would stop packing up for me, that'd be great. Actually, Silda, I need to steal you. The two axes in the cart that I've taken as war trophies. We need to move them to guest quarters. I'll leave instructions to have them moved to my rooms later. Good yeah, idea. I want to have those placed too before we left. Oh well. Nothing for it, I guess. Don't worry. They are very useful trophies. In fact, I would have asked to borrow them. Oh, well, if you want one, go ahead. And he kind of squeezes like, Thank Do you, you want the super heavy one or the one I could lift? I'll take the super heavy one. All right. Because that has... I think that has more power. <laughs> mm, power's good. All right. So, as everyone is packing up, um, so let's... Let's do the interaction with Girid and Robos later, but for right now, let's, um, quick interactions with some of the others, like with, uh, Kendra. In fact, um, Daniel is actually going to approach Kendra. All right, oh. so, so, um, Daniel is in the middle of packing some of his things, while you, Kendra, are also in the middle of packing uh, some of your stuff, and he go, he'll say to Kendra, so, guess we have to go to Redcliffe now, huh? Yep. Oh boy, Ethan is going to be in for a surprise when we show up, Lena. Yeah. <laughs> and Lena will go, I heard that. <laughs> I can't wait, actually. It's going to be great to have us all together again. Yep. Just like old times. That's like old times. <laughs> <sighs> All right. And at, at that point, uh, Lena just goes, What are you two talking about? Daniel will go, Mmm, oh, nothing, just talking about Ethan. And she goes, Oh, how is he? Good, good, actually. He's doing really well. <sighs> so. I don't know what happened, but what happened when I was gone? Well, I left to go look for you. I turned to Daniel. And we were caught, arrested in jail for a majority of our time. But luckily we got released. Just in time, too, because Kendra and her friends, uh, came to Redcliffe 
saying that they were on a mission from the Queen. And not the Checkmate's Queen, but I mean, the the Queen of Ferelden. I see, she says. Yes, well, quite a... I'll say that it is quite a group. Glad to be a part of this, to be honest. Mm. And now we're heading off to Redcliffe. Oh man, I can't wait to see the look on Dan on Ethan's face. Mm. And Daniel was like, did you, were you about to say my name? <laughs> it, uh, I get confused with you two, I swear. You almost look alike. And he goes, you know, my hair is a lot lighter than his. I walk up next to uh, to Lena. You know, that may be a bit, a bit hypocritical. Hmm. It's tr true. And then she just continues packing. Hmm. All right. And then Daniel continues packing as well. All right. Um. Now, who else wants to interact with who? Because that was the only one that I planned. Um. I'll go ahead and talk to Roland really quick. Okay. Go ahead. So, Roland, you mentioned your marks had some blood magic relation, and is that okay? Because usually blood magic screams danger to me. <laughs> well, it's it's not that dangerous, but like whenever I try using magic, it makes me weaker. Yeah, but, I noticed. But that's it. <laughs> well, the thing was is that it. It was used by the same blood magic that was made for making someone tranquil. But the thing is, is that they were able to use the blood magic, uh, to use that ritual to make me less connected to the Fade. Like, around the same level as, like, a regular non-mage would. Okay, so is that, like, a future thing? Is that, like, common practice? Not as common. It's... For the Chantry purposes, it's kind of taboo. Oh. But I'm still trying to get used to it. And I'm hoping to find a cure. Because these things hurt whenever I try using magic. You could try to get better with the daggers or something. <laughs> <laughs> Good point. And he rubs the back of his head and he blushes a little bit. <sighs> Guess I get to talk to Daniel about that, huh? I mean, he's more skilled than I am. Sometimes. <laughs> Sometimes. <sighs> anyway, was there I can try and show you a few tricks too. I'm not as good as Daniel, but I've got a couple things up my sleeve. I assume Gerard's there overhearing this. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah, why not? <laughs> uh, he'll say. Oh, well, I, I appreciate it, Gerard. Thank you. Anytime. Um, and he goes, anyway, was there something else you wanted to talk about, Lyra? Uh, no, I was just wondering about that. Oh, <laughs> still worried about me, huh? Look, blood magic sends red alert through me. <laughs> Some Templar training, I guess. <laughs> Understandable, but don't worry. And and he pats your head. I'll be okay. All right. <laughs> All right. Uh, now with that out of the way, um, unless Gerard wants to talk to anybody. Uh, I don't think that. I don't think so. I think he'll right. be mostly focused on packing up. All right. So now let's focus on Robos. So Robos, you do find a uh, Yurid. Uh, she looks like she's about to. Ready herself for battle. <laughs> Long way from the girl that cried the first hip weapons training when they put fake daggers into her hand, dropped them. I, that's true. But I've become better since then. Hmm, aye. Then again, you also have your magic now. That's true. Guess my cousin, my cousin, I suppose. Hmm. Yeah, but whereas you can sing fire from the skies. I got healing spells! All the healing spells. <sighs> anyway, that's not actually why I came. Because I did remind you to remind me I brought you a present. Reaches into her oh. armor and takes out a leather pouch. Oh, 
And I she saw grabs this it. in Ozma and thought of you. And she opens it and she sees uh, what you bought and she looks at it and goes, That is very lovely. And you said you got it from Ozma? Yep. That's. They make the best jewelry. I don't know why. But it just. It's shiny. You like shiny. <laughs> Indeed, I like shiny. Thank you so much. I'll cherish it, Rivas. I know. Wear it well. Close her into a hug. Take care of and yourself, okay? I don't like running when there's trouble coming to my hold. And she hugs you back and gives you a bit of a, a pat on the back. And she goes, oh, don't worry. I'll be fine. I can take care of myself. All right. Uh, there's also going to be an axe in the guest quarters. See, it gets to my rooms. I think it'll look really good hanging up against the dark spawn axe, like they're crossed, you know? Yes. I'll I'll remember to tell the men that. Great. Once we're done. Take care of yourself, Rogas, alright? You right? too. And she kinda does like uh, pulls out her elbow like to do like an elbow bump or something. Oh. And it goes. May the lady watch over you. May the lady watch over you. And she will head off. I will head back to my group. Alright. So, with that out of the way, everyone is going to be near the entrance. Uh, the Thane is there as well. And um, a majority of the men are prepping near the front with um, all their weapons out at the ready. And uh, the Thane will give all of you a bit of a farewell call. And it goes, four of you, I wish you luck. And the gods will smile upon you as you leave. Thank you, Thane. Thank you, Thane Frascar. Thank you. Thanks. Yeah, and everyone else will bow. And he goes, may you walk tall and let the gods be at your side. Take care. Rough us on your sultan. And friends. And and then he goes, And farewell to you, Gerard Payne, Kendra Arias, and Lyra Viersan. Make sure that this world is safe, but not only the checkmates, but for what the gods have planned for you. We will do our best. And Anya will, will bow as well, and she, she will say, "Take care, all of you, and make sure that Rovas is well." I'm fine. It's really depressing. You keep predicting my death. <sighs> Come on, Rovas. You do know that I worry about you. Oh, I worry about you too. Does me I go around thinking she's gonna die today? That's true. If I see you alive, then I know that the gods are on my side. No, they're not. Farewell to all of you. Runs over, hugs her mom. And she Don't hugs you back. Don't die, okay? I won't let any of them stop me. Cole you do not. Know You're on your winged rescue. <laughs> True. All right. Take care, Rivas. You too. Steps back, like, okay, that was only slightly embarrassing. All right. And now is the part where everyone leaves. Now, as you all leave the Frostbacks, um, I would like everyone to roll for perception. A uh, six for perception. me? <laughs> I want perception How have I two. not fallen off of the mountain at this point? Yes. Roll for two. 14 for my bird. Yes, you do roll for perception. Uh, 13 with free stun. Okay, nice. Alright, now, everyone looks back. Uh, because it's not that bad. Um, not bad of rolls, uh, except for roll boss, but... <laughs> clever. <laughs> Clever does see. Oh, there's a bunny! <laughs> yeah. But, but Clever is not focused on that. <laughs> exactly. 
and everyone um basically it's basically avar in the avar language but um robots can understand it and it's basically a, a bit of a war chant that uh, the avar use from time to time and it is of it is of a course of let Korth guide your hand through the earth in in all that may the lady guide you through through the skies through the wind and 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 they just basically it's just prepping them just prep yourselves ready for war and if you die may the lady shine upon you and and that is basically what they do and they just give out a big hurrah as you all leave Rah. she says quietly under her breath <laughs> and clever just nudges right beside you just comforting you <laughs>